In the hard and fast 21st century world, it is not uncommon to see the average man wishing for an escape from the brutality of society. If you feel this way, you probably owe yourself a vacation. But don't attempt a Captain Nemo-style getaway just yet, because the ocean has its own sundry of menaces. Here's a list of seven marine creatures so terrifying and deadly that you will never again look at the ocean without dread. Number 1. Stonefish Resident to the tropical waters, the Red Sea, and among the picturesque flora of Australia's Great barrier reef, the stonefish is the deadliest of all fish kind. A sting from one of these is so high on the pain scale that it is painful just to think about. Despite that, the deadly nature of the stonefish is not a predatory characteristic. Instead, its employment is for defense against attackers. As ambush predators, they sting from the seabed, and you are most likely to be the victim while standing there. An Australian photographer, Clancy, who recently survived a stonefish sting, is said to have cheated death with only red wine to his aid. Clancy describes his experience as agonizing, though it turns out he is unusually chill man when in pain. Because of their potent venom and exceptional camouflage qualities, stonefish are on common meal for creatures that would ordinarily hunt on them. Stonefish venom is supplied by a row of spines down their back, so they're well shielded from above when hunkered down on the sea floor. The epic camouflage stems from their striking patchwork of green, yellow, and orange skin. This algae-encrusted skin blends this bottom-dwelling species perfectly with colored tropical reefs. As daunting as the stonefish sounds, it comes in a length of 14 to 20 inches. Number 2. Pufferfish Yes, this is fish from the animated movies noted for its ability to inflate into beach balls full of air and water when agitated. I always thought they were adorable. Sorrowfully, I was one of many misled to feel this way about such a menace. Many pufferfish species are exceedingly deadly, having their internal organs laced with the highly lethal chemical tetrodotoxin. Puffers are present in warm and humid locations all over the world, mainly in the sea, but also in saline or fresh water in some cases. They have prickly skin and linked teeth that form a beak-like structure with a break in the center of each jaw. The largest puffers may reach 90 centimeters, or 3 feet, in length, although most are much smaller. As deathly as the pufferfish is, the Japanese indulge in feasting upon its liver, also known as fugu. Since this is one of the aforementioned poison-filled internal organs, the preparation of this meal requires meticulous cleaning, and even when cleaned, eating it is a risk because the fish's liver has a dangerously high percentage of tetrodotoxin, or TT. The deadly chemical that causes paralysis if consumed. Chefs in Japan spend years learning how to correctly cook this so that they do not kill their consumers. Here's an interesting point. TTX is 1200 times more poisonous than cyanide. A teaspoon of it is enough to kill a human. And as of yet, there isn't an antidote. Number 3. Kandiru Kandiru are tiny but lethal with such a length of around 1 inch and are unquestionably a fish to avoid at all costs. They are parasite freshwater catfish native to the Amazon basin and are difficult to notice owing to their transparent appearance. They may be found in Bolivia, Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru. Kandiru, also known as vampire fish, are blood-eating fish and have a tiny head and body that can enlarge after a meal. Although they generally dwell inside the gills of bigger fish, they have been seen to penetrate and parasitize human urethras. Because their gills contain backward-facing spines, they are challenging to remove after they have penetrated the urethra. Kandiru then feeds on the blood and mucosal lining and lays eggs inside the bladder, eventually killing the victim if not removed. As horrifying as that sounds, you don't have to worry about a Kandiru infesting your urethra, since relatively few reports of Kandiru assaults have ever been substantiated, and many of the fish's reported characteristics are simply fiction and superstition. Number 4. Moray Eel Despite their snake-like appearance, moray eels are really fish that are highly poisonous. There are more than 200 species of moray eels worldwide, with the majority living in saltwater, but few in freshwater. Most moray eels may grow to be 5 feet long and lack pectoral fins, leading some people to mistake them for snakes. Moray eels primarily consume squid, octopus, crabs, and other fish. They frequently attack divers because they live in rocky crevices. When startled, moray eels become very ferocious and attack with lightning-fast reflexes. Their teeth are incredibly sharp and robust, and they are slanted backward to keep prey from fleeing. Because of this, their bites are exceedingly painful and wounds frequently bleed profusely. In their slime and mouth, moray eels carry a poison that damages red blood cells. This poison is assumed to be the cause of their severe bites. Number 5. Bull Sharks The large width to length ratio of bull sharks' bodies distinguishes them from other sharks, giving them a robust look. Found throughout the world in coastal seas,
species, bull sharks are frequently regarded as the most deadly sharks to human due to their aggressive nature and tendency to move up rivers. They favor shallow coastal water, which means they frequently come in to touch with humans. Recently, a 10-year-old child had to have his leg amputated when a bull shark bit above his knee. Number 6. Needlefish With the length of 1 meter and a weight of 4 kilograms, needlefish are a lot more dangerous than they appear. This is due because these fish not only have a long, sharp, and bony beak, but also have a tendency to leap out of the water at speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour. Unfortunately, this has made them a true terror in their Indian and Pacific Ocean habitats. They're allured by lights from watercraft and will frequently leap out and impale unsuspecting sailors. Number 7. Electric Eel The legendary electric eel, which can grow to be 9 feet long, has the power to inject a 600-volt jolt into the water surrounding it. If you saw Journey to the Mysterious Island in 2012, you have seen these nasty guys in action. These electrical pulses stun other fish, making it simpler for the eel to devour them whole, or they may disclose themselves if camouflaged. However, such a high voltage might induce heart failure in humans, perhaps resulting in death. However, it is notable that shark attacks are sporadic, with fewer than 20 people dying by shark attack per annum. In retrospect, more than 20 million sharks die in relation to the fishing industry and are listed as threatened. A fun fact about electric eels is that unlike moray eels, they are not indeed eels. The electric eel, or Electrophorus electricus, despite its elongated form, is actually a sort of knife fish. That is all we have for you today. Thank you for watching. Which of these terrified you the most? Let us know in the comments down below. If you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. We will be back with more very soon.